I have to say, you ever get the feeling that you are trying to check out a drama, you're reading the synopsis, and it seems pretty cool, like, ah, oh, I'm gonna go check that out. But what I found myself while I was watching this is that I just had a smile on my face the whole entire time. What's up, Sunday fams? Welcome back to another two minute quick take. I'm having a lot of fun filming these quick takes because it's a challenge to incorporate or to even portray our very first impressions in two minutes. It's kind of challenging, it's kind of fun, but hopefully you're enjoying it as well. And really quickly, as a reminder, hit that like and subscribe if you haven't yet. Here are my first impressions of Mr. Queen. Two minutes on the clock. Two minutes, go! <laughs> So the story revolves around a cocky and self-absorbed chef who happens to be the youngest chef to be promoted as the head chef of the Blue House. And what is the Blue House, you ask? It's pretty much the White House version of South Korea. He then gets caught in some kind of conspiracy that gets him fired and almost kind of, I think, loses his life, but a sequence of events transports his body back in time to Joseon period Korea into the body of a queen. And what happens after that? A lot of political intrigue and mystery ensues. I have to say, you ever get the feeling that you are trying to check out a drama, you're reading the synopsis, and it seems pretty cool, like, ah, oh, I'm gonna go check that out. But what I found myself while I was watching this is that I just had a smile on my face the whole entire time. The dialogue is smart, it's quirky, it's humorous, and then the intrigue, you put in all of these elements together and it kind of creates this amazing show. And that is Mr. Queen. Mr. Queen so far has just been so amazing. I think the cinematography is on point, the storytelling is really awesome, it has its quirky moments, it has levity, it has lots of little parts of seriousness where you get into the intrigue and the political rivals and what they're plotting against each other and so I would have to give Mr. Queen a big thumbs up and if you guys are checking it out and you know it and you're caught up with the show right now leave your comments in the section below and let me know what you think I love it so far and I have to say Shin His Sun is an amazing actress she's beautiful on screen but she is able to pull off the mannerisms and nuances of a guy <laughs> And you get the narration in the background of what he's actually thinking, but the way she's acting it and pulling it off and how she interacts with all of the other characters is just so refreshing and it's so funny. But what happens in the story is that she totally messes up all of the political plot points that all of these rival families are pitted against each other. She's confusing the hell out of all of them and they don't know what to make of it. Her acting has just been so hilarious. I've said it before, so refreshing. Just watching her mannerisms and nuances of being a guy. Oh. I would have to give Mr. Queen a big two thumbs up, guys. Go check it out if you haven't yet. And uh, that's it. I hope that was two minutes. I'm not sure. Maybe I was right on time and maybe just a little bit over. But in any case, guys, that is it for me on my two minute quick take of Mr. Queen. If you like this video, leave us a like. Subscribe if you haven't already and tap that bell notification so you're notified when we post new videos. And once again, we'll see you next time.